Hi everyone, you may be saying, I don't have a sewing machine, so how can I do this? So I thought I'd show you a method that my mother-in-law had shown me what she used to do during the depression when they did not all have a sewing machine. First thing you thread through a needle, have it double, hold it with your two fingers there, wind around twice, holding on to both of those, you pull it through, that makes a knot. So you've got a nice easy knot on the end. Then I'm using this bit of scrap to show you what to do here. As you can see it's two pieces. Poke it through. Go back stitch there. Then you go back through this to the stitch that so it's gone through the back, back through to where you did your original stitch. Then you go forward one right through up one then you go back through that one then again and then back through the same hole of the beginning one and that's what you continue to do and as you can see I've done this like a big stitch but you can see that holds it together you do it a smaller stitch than I've done there um, but that holds it quite strongly together so I hope that helps so I'll do it one more time you go forward and up back and up through there now you might say what do I do to finish this off because I'm running out of thread so the best thing to do is I go back through it one more time to give it a bit of strength anyway like that then I slide it through both of those Make sure it's nice and tight and even. Then you put that through the hole there and pull it and that makes a knot. And I always do it one more time because it is for the mask. We don't want it to come undone. I always do it a second time. And then you can snip that off and it keeps it neat and tidy. When you start your next one, you will start from there back through that way to keep going on. So I hope this has been a great help to you and keep safe out there and enjoy wearing your masks.